love bombing, the narcissist's seductive trap. We are Kai's Energies, a channel about health and positive energy. We're venturing into the complex world of narcissism, specifically how it manifests in the bedroom. Let's talk about love bombing and how narcissists use it to manipulate their partners in the early stages of a relationship. We all crave love and affection. Narcissists know this, and they weaponize that desire during the love bombing phase. This initial period is a whirlwind of intense passion, compliments, and over-the-top displays of affection. Sex becomes a central focus, often exceeding anything you've ever experienced. But here's the catch. This isn't genuine love. It's a calculated strategy to hook you in. The intense intimacy creates a powerful emotional bond, making you feel special and adored. Fuel their ego. Your desire and admiration become a source of validation for the narcissist's fragile self-esteem. Gain control by fulfilling your every desire, at least initially, they establish themselves as the answer to your deepest needs. This intense passion rarely lasts, such that the honeymoon phase quickly ends. Once the narcissist feels secure in your attachment, the dynamic shifts. Here's what you might experience. Decreased affection, sex becomes less frequent and the compliments dry up. Selfishness in the bedroom, the focus shifts entirely to their desires with little regard for your pleasure. Emotional manipulation. If you express dissatisfaction, they might use guilt trips or emotional withdrawal to get their way. Now, it's important to understand that not everyone who enjoys passionate sex in a new relationship is a narcissist. However, if the love bombing fades abruptly and leaves you feeling emotionally manipulated or used, it could be a red flag. Here's what you can do to break the cycle. Educate yourself. Understanding how narcissists operate can help you recognize the signs. Set boundaries, communicate your needs and don't be afraid to say no. Prioritize your well-being. If the relationship is causing you emotional distress, it might be time to walk away. Remember, a healthy sex life is built on mutual respect, open communication, and a genuine desire to please each other. Don't settle for a love that feels more like a performance. Be sure to recognize red flags and prioritize your emotional well-being in a relationship. Seek professional help if you suspect you're in a narcissistic relationship. It's okay to leave for your own peace of mind. If you have comments or experiences to share, leave them below. Seek the relationship that suits you